Hey guys, so I picked up a script receiver from Harrington and Richardson. And I just wanted to do a quick unboxing. I'm getting ready to do start another project. Uh, this project is going to be a M16 A2 clone. Um, once I get this done, I'll have all almost all of all the major M16s, with the, a couple exceptions of some of the earlier ones. So these receivers, they come much nicer than the uh, standard receivers. If you've ever gotten a Palmetto State Armory receiver, they usually just come in this little foam sleeve, th or I mean a uh, bubble wrap sleeve thing. These are actually really packed in. I also want to note that these cost a bit more than the uh, regular uh, PSA receivers. So it's a nice little box. Um, this is another Blem. Uh, receiver. Well, my uh, A1 was a blem. This will be the first blem receiver I got. Um, I don't really. I didn't. I had it out of the box earlier. I didn't really see any blems. Um. Oh, okay. Right there is one. Nope, it's wiping off. There's a little. Oh, there we go. Okay, I can see the blems now. I see a little nicks there. Uh, there's one there too so but that's fine with me looks good so um i guess i could have gotten a regular uh palmetto state armory m16 a2 uh government lower receiver but i really wanted the uh h and roll mark on it so and I love how, at least with these ones, they, they keep the flashing on there. You see the flashing there and there. It's not smooth. And there's some flashing there as well. Uh, and if I'm cloning a government um, item, government end item, then uh, most of the time they had the flashing on that. I think, I think early M16A1s from Colt, they were, they were uh, machining the flashing off, but then I think when the M16A1 came out around there, they did stop machining that off. So not really a whole lot to show, uh, except these are in stock. I know a lot of people say that they can't get uh, complete rifles, but uh, the lowers are definitely in stock. Um, and they do sell out, but I know this, I've been watching one of these uh, A2 lowers for a while now, and I think this has been in stock for over a week now so uh, i don't know if the m16a2 lowers are just not selling quite as good as the um m16a1 lowers so anyways i just want to do a simple unboxing of this and let you know of my new project that's going on and uh i'll be making more videos here shortly thanks for watching